All right, so next up, we're just going to talk about the inventory system. All right, so for an object to actually use our inventory system, first it needs a trigger volume, right? Any shape. So any shape uh, volume, you usually we utilize sphere colliders for uh, our collectibles, but if there's any other instance, maybe a, a, a scenario where the, the area, you need a box collider or some other shape, that's definitely fine, right? Set it to be a trigger volume. Because in essence, a collectible, and whether it's scraps or any other game, a collectible is just a trigger volume, right? When you enter the trigger volume, destroy the object, the little visual, so it seems like it was collected, and then add a value to our inventory if you want to actually track um, you know, what item they collected, right? Or do some communicate something to the UI system or to the player's inventory system. So we need the trigger volume as well as we need the scraps HUD pickup script. So this is a this is a script provided to you in the project template. So you can just search your project for scraps HUD pickup um, and then add that as a component to your object. Okay, so this down here is basically an example of what this script is doing. You don't have to type this out yourself. This is just describe, showing you what the script is doing, right? On trigger enter, if the player enters, uh, destroy the game object, and then this is our function for adding this object to the inventory. All right? So the only thing you need to do after you've assigned your, after you've attached this component to your game object is uh, put something for the type name. All right, so what the type name does, here you can see our example we're using in this experiment is the hubcap. This is what determines what is displayed uh, on the UI and then how we're going to reference uh, the inventory. So if you do hub space cap or hub cap with no space or with a lowercase c, you need to remember that for referencing the inventory later, right? This is just a string, but uh, make sure you're filling that out and you're aware of what it is you're writing. 